Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with another Beckett return. We graded four Charizards and one shiny Espeon in our Beckett return today. My background is barren. I've had to sell the Black Label, unfortunately. I needed it to rip more packs, and those packs have been pretty successful, if I must say so myself. Anyway, uh, I'm not even going to spoil anything. We're just going to get right into it. Uh, there are four Charizards in here. I will not uh, say which Charizards they are. There is one shiny Espeon from Hidden Fates. Uh, Vivid Voltage, honestly, just a quick note, Vivid Voltage was a complete dud for me. Uh, we got two chunk of shoes, but like, you can't make value back. At, even at 100 per box, you cannot make value back unless you get the Rainbow Pikachu. So I wouldn't get that. I wouldn't get it at all. I'm gonna open this off from camera. It is still sealed. I will show you the seal right there. Yep. I saw one, I saw one of uh, my grades because when Beckett uh, emails you, they literally tell you one of the grades, which is kind of bad. There are one, two, five cards. Okay, I thought there was only four and I was about to cry. So I'm not expecting these cards. None of them I don't think could get black label. Um, I think one could get a 10 but we'll see what happens. I'm expecting 9.5s out of here, to be honest. Here is the first one. I have no clue what this is. There's something on the front. Another thing on the front. Like, what the hell? Let me get this out. This, oh shoot. This is the shiny Espeon. Now this one actually, I lied. This one I thought could get black label. This was a really good freaking shiny Espeon really good and let's see what we got we got a 10 wow see that's the thing about beckett is to get a 10 uh you need three tens and a 9.5 and at that point it's like why can't you just give me the freaking black label it's one away from black label what got us centering was the only thing that got us and i thought it was centered pretty damn good maybe center's right I guess it does center the right a little bit. Wow, this is a great card though. I'll definitely take a 10. That's, uh, I'm gonna try to put all the prices like bottom right side of the screen. So that's our first one, we'll definitely take that. 10 Espeon, not bad at all. One of my favorite, sorry, there's vitamins in the background, Jesus. Uh, one of my favorite shinies from Hidden Fates, for sure, for sure. I'm trying to move if you can see the grade. There you go. All right. Apologies for the background again. On to the next one. Uh, we shouldn't have anything else in the way. Um, and this is Shiny Charizard GX. Now this literally has some blemishes. See that? On the surface. And this is the grade that I saw in my email, which doesn't make sense to me <laughs> because of that blemish, right? Everybody can see that. Right there. There's another one too. Right there, all those blemishes. But look at the grade. They still gave this a 10. 10 surface with those blemishes on it. I don't know what's going on at Beckett. I literally thought this was no higher than a 9.5 just because the surface is messed up. But they didn't take off points for that. They took it off for centering, which I thought was perfect. But I guess again, Looks like it's favoring right side. But like, I was very happy with this. Like extremely happy. I'll take a 10 on this all day. I think my collection is gonna end up being uh, just shiny Charizards. I'm probably gonna sell off everything else um, and just stick with shiny Charizards. Third card, we had an evolution Charizard. Uh, the front was perfect, but I know the centering is off on the back. And there's a few white dots, as you can see right there. So um, realistically, probably a nine. Absolute highest nine, five. Yep, got a nine. It's a pretty good fucking nine though. Like, come on now. We got nine, oh God. Nine, nine, 9.5, 9.5. It's a pretty good fucking nine, look at that. It is beautiful though, cannot lie. Beautiful card. Nine is what I expected on that one, but. They could have gave that a 9.5, which would have 
drove the price up uh, quite a bit, I think. Um, and the fourth card we got back was Shiny Charizard. Uh, centering on the front of this looks actually pretty bad. Real skinny on the left. Um, and this got a 9.5. 9.5 on the centering, 9 edges, 10, 10. 9 edges. It's pretty low for a brand new card, but we'll take it. I'm pretty sure this is the first one that I pulled uh, that I got out of the boxes. For this, this, is, this is the first one I got when I hit the restock at Target and I bought like hella packs. Uh, that was the first one I got. Probably my favorite card in Pokemon is this card. Looks insane with the speckles. Can't wait to get uh, V Max when it comes out uh, in Shiny Star V. That will definitely be a cop for me. And yes, the last one was another Shiny Star. I mean, Charizard V. And this one is better than that. But you know how hard it is to get a 10 or a black label. But it has a chance. But then again, centering looks kind of off on the front. So I don't think so. 10, I will take a 10. I'll definitely take a 10. Uh, yep, literally. Literally just the fucking, just the centering. That's it. And this honestly looks, this honestly looks really good. I would consider getting this regraded. Cause I think the centering is good. They could have gave this black label. For sure. But <clears throat> all in all, that's obviously a great return. Three tens and a nine and a nine point five. I'm probably only keeping uh these two. The GX and this one. Start my collection of Start my collection of shiny Charizard tens. All I need is that VMAX, and this collection will be complete. Thanks for tuning in. We have another P we have a PSA return coming in soon. I should have it already. I sent both of these on the same day. Uh, so if you're thinking about Beckett or PSA, I sent it to Express, which is 75 a card for PSA. It's still in the grading process. Beckett, I sent five day, which is 100, so $25 more, and it is back. Um, and I don't think I'm going to see those PSA cards anytime soon. So if you're wondering between the two, I would go back it. But like, seriously, are they like quickly grading now? Because look, this literally has blemishes on it. There's one. Can't find any more, but they're here. There's two right there and 10 surface. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on there. Like if they don't count the, that, I don't, I'm confused, but I'll take it. Uh, see y'all next time. Love, peace, and air grease.